Yeah, but first, our regions are expected to benefit from an announcement tomorrow about enterprise zones, and that could offer real hope for employment. Now, the zones are rather like those pioneered by uh, Margaret Thatcher's government in the 1980s, with big government incentives to encourage companies to move in. And Peter's been to the black country to find out how much of a difference they made. The massive Mary Hill shopping centre and nearby the popular waterfront business park. They're both the result of the last batch of enterprise zones. After the closure in the early 80s of the Round Oak Steelworks, the area became run down and in need of regeneration. For the company that developed much of the land, the enterprise zone provided a welcome boost. It was huge. What it provided more than anything else was certainty. By taking away planning restrictions, it meant the company could get on and do things. It could do what good entrepreneurs do which is to invest. With other incentives like no business rates to pay for 10 years, not surprisingly, the waterfront attracted scores of high-profile businesses. But there's sometimes been criticism of the enterprise zones of the past. While they are credited with bringing thousands of jobs to an area like this, sometimes they've come as a direct result of companies locating from elsewhere, leaving those areas in terminal decline. And there's been similar concerns about the impact Mary Hill had on nearby high streets. But ultimately, the zone did help bring jobs to the area, and the legacy that's left continues to do so. These are cast around the corner. They're made in stainless steel and cast steel. Without moving to this area, my business would have struggled. We originated from a Great Bar. We were not in an industrial area, and to be close to our suppliers, and to most of our customers, we needed to come to this area. But as the government prepares to announce what's been billed a budget for growth, some are hoping that those setting up the new enterprise zones will learn lessons from the past. What we hope we'll see is that they're a wider geographic area than before. In the 80s, they were very narrow and very focused. We'd like that to see, see it a bit broader. Um, we'd like to see the incentives to be an incentive, really, not, not free. We'd like to see an incentive that actually make people consider coming and then staying for the long term. With an announcement due tomorrow, many are suggesting the Round Oak Enterprise Zone provides an ideal model for the future. Peter Plisner, BBC Midlands Today in Dudley. So indeed, hopes there of uh, jobs in the future, but today there were...